Hello, my name is Beat Butcher and last time I recorded a video clip in Amsterdam with the guys from Hello Life on the Ableton Push in uh, user mode. The first thing you notice when you go into user mode, um, when you tap on the pads, you, you won't see lights and I want to solve this problem. Uh, it's actually the same problem like in the, uh, on the launch pad in user mode. First I'm going to put the IOs on uh, to configure the MIDI settings. And then insert a MIDI clip in session view. What I would like to have uh, on the push is a certain area lighted on or a metronome to see what the rhythm is about. Let's make a note inside the MIDI clip, duplicate it and then scale it up. Now duplicate the loop, take the last notes and then you uh, scale them up until they become a stair of notes. So when I push on play you will notice that there isn't happening anything and that's because you need to uh, set your MIDI out uh, settings. You have to use Ableton push user port and then boom you will see that the lights are flickering. So now you have a metronome running, uh, a light metronome running but it's not on the place where I want it so I'm gonna select all the notes and then I'm gonna scale, uh, I'm gonna pitch up the notes like so and you will notice that the metronome is actually moving over the push and now I have it there. So now I select a part of the notes and I pitch them down and you will notice that they are uh, now running in a selected area. And this is the area I want to have it running. So now I have my uh, step sequencer. Let's say I want to have the area fully lighted. What you need to do is to select all the notes above each other. So you select them like this. and then simply slide them to the side. So uh, when this is done, we are going to uh, loop the notes and then we are going to make them a little bit shorter. And there you have your area lighted. I want to have the lights on when I tap the pads. I go to the next MIDI track and I send the MIDI out to the Ableton push. But then I need the MIDI coming from the Ableton push into the MIDI track. So I select the uh, Ableton push port. Don't forget to select monitor in. Now you see when you are tapping on the pads that the lights are blinking. You will notice when you are tapping on the pads that the uh, colors are changing and this is because of the velocity. Each velocity has its own color. Now back to the MIDI clip when I um, duplicate these notes and then I uh, slide them a little bit down, you will notice that I can make a, a bigger area. A little bit over there, yeah, yeah, a little bit to the side, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Like, like so, you, now you have a square, you see? First I select a MIDI device on the track and then, then I will uh, go into to the MIDI clip and you will notice when I uh, select the, the MIDI uh, velocity that the colors are changing. So we are going to put it on maximum 127 velocity. So now I can go back to the velocity device and there uh, I can put the minimum of the velocity like to one or uh, to another value and then you get a color as you like. When I tap the pads they are still blinking. The velocity device is actually a good thing to uh, adjust your colors and when you open up random you will notice that it becomes a disco push. If you want to use uh, the settings 
again uh, into a new live set, you simply can put it into a group track and then uh, give it a name like uh, Lights or something like this, yeah, Lights, okay. And then simply drag it and save it into your uh, browser. Thank you for watching and have fun with it.